an awful long time from this. You graduated law school in 2009. So I wonder if you can tell us what this decision means to you personally. Well, basically, it will allow me to fulfill one of, one of my two dreams. I always wanted to be a licensed attorney, and I, I hope to one day be a U.S. citizen. But for now, I guess at least one of my two dreams is, is now uh, going to be possible. And I'm just so super excited. You know, I'm tired. I haven't slept much, but I'm super excited to finally be able to fulfill one of my dreams. Mm -hmm. Can we talk to you about the 19 years? I think many people would not understand why it took so long. We understand you've been approved for your green card, but it hasn't been processed. You don't have it in your hand. Why is that? Well, unfortunately, um, I would be um, uh, among those people who don't understand why it takes 19 years or it's likely to take 25 years. And that just, I think, highlights the problems with our immigration system and how the system's broken and it, it really, I don't think it should take that long to be able to process a green card, be able to tell somebody whether they can uh, lawfully stay in this country or not. And so um, I kind of fallen through the cracks just because I was two weeks too old um, you know, to get my green card at a time, so I age, aged out, as they say, hmm. and now I'm I'm in a, uh, a category that takes takes about 25 years in order to get a green card, even though I'm the son of a U.S. citizen. Wow. So, Sergio, I'm curious. Um, again, given all the obstacles that you've faced since coming to the U.S. and getting your visa and being able to practice law after getting your your degree here. Why was it so important for you to persist and, and to continue to try to work here in the U.S.? Well, listen, I wasn't smart enough. I put all my eggs into one basket. This whole idea of being an attorney was uh, the only idea I had going. And so, you know, 20 years of working on that dream, I couldn't really afford to just give up on it. So, and that, and I'm a little bit stubborn anyway. <laughs> yeah. Stubborn's a good thing to be, dealing with the immigration system. I think that's for sure. Yeah. Listen, there are critics who look at this mm -hmm. and say there's an irony here, that you are now able to practice law even though you don't really have legal status here. What do you say about that irony? Well, I would, I would say, you know, at first blush, that's, that, that might be the easiest response or the, the easiest uh, cri uh, uh, critic uh, to make, uh, uh, the, the criticism to, to make. But in reality, if you look at all the facts, I was brought here as a minor. I immediately applied for a green card. That has, has been approved, and I've been waiting for 19 years. I think if somebody's frustrated with that or has uh, some issues with that, I think the federal government is the one to be addressing and, um, you know, talking to both Republicans and Democrats in D.C. and telling them to get their act together and fix this immigration system. Do you plan on practicing immigration law? Oh, no. It, <laughs> that system too messed up. I don't want to be involved <laughs> with that. <laughs> what type of clients do you anticipate having then? Uh, you, you know, I love being in front of the judge and jury, so just some civil litigation, um, you know, uh, personal injury, debt negotiation, any, any, anything that's civil. But no, um, I intend in the future to hopefully have an immigration attorney on staff, but not, not for me. Not, just that's not the area for me. I mean, 19 years waiting and it's still not, <laughs> not fixed, so I'm not interested in that.